honored today to stand here and introduce a gentleman who everybody knows well. He's been a, a little busy here lately, saving lives, plucking people out of uh, water and harm's way, and uh, rolling up his sleeves to do what he loves best, and that's take care of our state. Before the governor speaks, I do want to take a minute, Governor, and on behalf of the Palmetto Conservative Solar, Solar Coalition, I want to uh, award you with the 2008 uh, Clean Energy Champion Award, and thank you thank for you. all your efforts in the energy field. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. I'm, happy, I'm glad y'all are here and doing what you're doing. We were just with uh, Brock, Brock Long, who's the FEMA the administrator. We were responding and planning for what we would do after the flooding, which is the second part of this crisis. The first part was the hurricane, which ended up being less than we expected, but we were prepared for it. And the flooding is exactly what we expected. And it is horrible, and it's not over yet. The water is not yet crested in Conway. It is not crested in Sacristy. It is not crested in Georgetown. And it, it's the latest count, the water on Front Street in Georgetown, where probably everybody has been, will be somewhere between two and four feet deep, which is something new. We have never had flooding like this in South Carolina. We had flooding in Columbia, you remember, in 2015, but that was in one river basin. The water from this hurricane, and this hurricane came right straight across the Atlantic. It didn't swoop in and out. Uh, Hugo swooped in and out and was here for about 12 hours and flooded one water system. This one came in and stayed for about three days and dumped water on North Carolina, dumped water on South Carolina, so we had immediate flash, flash flood. And then as that was subsiding, now all the water from North Carolina is joining with the water in South Carolina coming down on so uh, Nichols uh, Nichols has actually had two floods this time one immediate one from the South Carolina water and now again from the North Carolina water is coming down. It's, it's really a, a serious challenge that we face but I want to tell you we've got a great group of people everyone that comes here including you know, Brock Long today FEMA administrator and we've had four-star generals that are involved in this. We had a dual command with them and with our National Guard. The Highway uh, Department has functioned greatly as emergency man. You all see it, but they all say that we have the best team, the best collaboration, best communication of any that they've seen. So we've got an unprecedented storm, unprecedented water, but we've also got an unprecedented Team. It's taken years to build it, a lot of experience, but we've got a great team and we can take comfort in that and be very proud. But one thing this has shown us is you always have to have multiple sources of energy. You can't rely on one. It can't be just this one or that one. And the solar, solar energy, wind, all of these alternative sources are very important, particularly in South Carolina where uh, we have uh, plenty of resources to handle all of, all of this. We, we need to spread this all over our state, and I think we can be a model uh, for other states. So I'm delighted to do this governor's proclamation because the, the kind of uh, clean energy, all that we, we need to have, renewable energy, is very important to the future of our state. And I promise you this, people all over the world, companies, are coming to South Carolina above other places they want to be a part of this and I, I would, would wish i had all the comments of some of these chief executives from bmw and uh, volvo and mercedes and all everybody in between how they talk about how they love south carolina and want to be a part of it so we're in a great position but this is what this is the kind of thing renewable energy as well as the others are the kind of things that are going to set us apart and make us any stronger so i'm happy to Happy to do this, Nathan. And now I'll, I'll read this part. Please do, yes, sir. <clears throat> State of South Carolina, Governor's Proclamation, whereas, and it's not very long, but it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Across South Carolina, clean and readily abundant forms of energy are powering more homes and businesses than ever before. And whereas, clean energy, including generation from renewable sources such as wind, solar, and hydro sources, as well as nuclear, natural gas, and energy storage is part of our country's energy future. And whereas the clean energy sector is a growing part of the economy and has been a key driver of economic growth in the Palmetto State in recent years, 
and whereas, according to the 2016 South Carolina Clean Industry, in, industry Clean Energy Industry Census, compiled by the South Carolina Clean in, Energy Business Alliance, I'm tongue-tied, I've been talking a lot today. <laughs> Since 2015, clean energy businesses increased 79%, jobs grew by 110%, and revenues were up uh, more than 41 percent and whereas clean energy jobs are inherently local exempt from outsourcing due to the on-site nature of construction installation and maintenance and contribute to the growth of the local communities now therefore our henry mcmaster governor of the great state of south carolina do hereby proclaim september 24th through 28th 2018 as south carolina clean energy week throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to support common sense solutions that address our economic and energy needs in the 21st century. And signed by me very happily and proudly as the governor of the great state of South Carolina. And thank you very much. He has, always has a busy schedule, particularly with everything that's going on. I know he's got to head out in a few minutes, but you heard him say a word that's important, should be important to everybody in the state, and that's jobs. And our governor has continued to recruit new business uh, and continue to help uh, existing business flourish. And so uh, we thank you for that. We thank you for you leading uh, the state through this natural uh, disaster. And uh, we appreciate your support of uh, clean energy and renewables. Thank you for being Absolutely. here today. Thank you all for attending. And I appreciate it, your time this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.